Okay, SEO, so search engine optimization and Google's animals. So we've got here panda, penguin, and also hummingbird. And so what these what these mean for you. If you think of traditional search engine optimization, which is how to get listed in that free part of search, if you think back over the years, really what it's been about is getting the most number of links into your site. So paying an SEO company to build inbound links into your site. And why that was important was because you know, Google, you know, they built their, I told you they built their business about relevance. And in their early days, they figured out that if there was more people linking into a website, then it was more relevant. More people were interested in it, more people liked it, that sort of thing. But then Google's sort of woken up in the last couple of years to say, hang on a second, you know, this whole SEO industry, you know, is, is what we call spammy. It's not great. People are gaming the system. So that's why they then change the rules about how it works with particularly Panda and Penguin. And if you don't know what these mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give you the quick two-minute version of them. So Panda is site-wide. So it means it can affect your whole site. So if your whole site drops out of the search engine or has dropped out of the search engine, it's, it's, uh, there's a good chance that it's um, Panda. And uh, basically what what happening is you know Google is rewarding what they call high quality sites and they're penalizing you know low quality sites so let's look at a little bit of you know what that is what that means um, so effectively how you can improve your site if that happened to you was making you know links within your site to other site pages um, so for example say for example you defined this you know Logitech clicker you know on one blog post and then you're doing another blog post that says you know um, certain speaking techniques and I utilize the Logitech clicker and then you would make that a link over to that page. They want to see that sort of natural linking. They want to see that your site loads quick so site speed is very very important now um, and they want to see things like dynamic menus. So um, if you're an e-commerce store, we were talking about TVs before, so uh, that whole area might have a different sub menu on the side than if you're in the section looking at you know, dishwashers, that sort of thing. So making the site, the menus relevant. It might not matter if you've got a small website, but if you've got a big website, that sort of stuff stuff matters. All right, so now Penguin, let's talk about that. It's an over-optimization um, penalty at the keyword level, meaning you could drop out just for Plumber Melbourne, you know, that, that one search phrase. And the most common way we see that happen is where People have paid like an SEO company and to put links out all over the web and they've used the same phrase at the bottom, you know, Plumber Melbourne and links inbound, you know, based off that keyword. And then Google's smart enough to go out and see, hang on a sec, there's 236 inbound links all with the same thing, you know, all based off these articles. Let's, you know, not count any of them. Let's consider them all to be spammy. Let's basically slap the site, chuck them off out of our search engines because they're not doing it the right way. Google doesn't care if the way you the way you did it was legal at the time. When they change their rules, that's what they care about. I don't think it's necessarily fair um, that they do it that way, but it, it just is. So in this case, they've changed the way they evaluate links. So if that if that's happened to you, if you've dropped off for certain terms, then what you can do is if you type if you type in a Google disavow tool, so you can search for this tool that'll tell you you know what links out there, what pages don't Google don't like. Um, you can then remove the low quality links. I can say that, but it's it's not always that easy to do because where these links are linking into your site, you don't have any control over. So it's not easy to always you know be able to link into them. The fixed keyword stuffing. So that means if you're using that you know um, plumber Melbourne, plumber Melbourne, Melbourne plumber, like the whole thing right through the page, then clean it up and make it sort of natural. So write naturally. Don't write for the search engine, so to speak, and then. If you've done all that sort of stuff, you can then ask Google for a reconsideration request, which basically is like, pray, pray to the Google gods, please Google, let me back into the search engine, please resuscitate my business life. Um, and hopefully they will, but there's no guarantee. So that's how it works. Um, and Hummingbird, this is new just in the last couple of months. And uh, what this is, is a change in the algorithm, you know, completely new search algorithm. Um, and it's to work with more natural voice speak because... The rise of you know Siri on the iPhone, um, where people. So if we use that Plumber Melbourne example, instead of people typing in Plumber Melbourne, as they might speak to Siri. You know, I need a plumber in the eastern suburbs of Melbourne for you know whatever. And so it's those sort of. So they're basically making this their search, 
you know, work more for natural speech, which then, if it's not provided you're writing just naturally, um, it'll be fine. Just basically don't try and write stuff to game the search engines. It's not worth trying to game Google. Google.